Hi, my name's Byron Martin here at Logis Greenhouses. Today we're going to be talking about a fern ally that we've had in the greenhouse for many years. This is actually a lycopodium. The botanical name of this is Herpersia squarsorum, the particular species, and it's also known as the staghorn club moss. They're actually quite easy to grow. Many ferns are not, and I would assume that um, if you're going to grow it in a house, you've got to watch your humidity levels. But the club mosses actually are pretty hardy plants. We have some native ones here in New England, and they can take tremendous amounts of dryness. These, this is a tropical variety, comes from Southeast Asia, and it grows as an epiphyte. That means it's up in the trees. And anytime you have epiphytic plants, they usually can take long periods of very high drought stress, meaning the dry season that they go through. Uh, we don't actually grow it that dry here at Logies. One thing we make sure we do is not to fertilize it too much. Ferns and these um, fern allies can be very sensitive to over-fertilization. So it gets it once in a while, but for the most part it gets clear water. In its culture, it can take dryness, but we really keep this sort of on an evenly moist basis. It's in quite a loose potting mix, so you want to have it really porous. Most of the standard potting mixes will work okay as long as you don't have some residual fertilizer in there that could damage them. Oftentimes they'll grow them in a straight peat and perlite mix where there is very little nutrients and the pH is somewhat low, which is typical of something growing in a tropical uh, rainforest. It does have sporing bodies to it, which form on the tips of these young growth. There's actually some showing right there. You can see the yellow along the stem and it actually reproduces very similar to what a fern does. You can see the cascading form on this. This plant here is probably uh, about uh, six or seven years old from a young, very young cutting, and so they are somewhat slow growing. I know that they can often be mounted on plaques where in botanical gardens and conservatories you often see them um, gracing the sides of walls and rock formations. There really aren't a lot of problems in terms of uh, insects and disease for this. We've never had to spray it for anything over those many years. Occasionally, we have to come in here and trim off one that has died back on us, but uh, for the most part, they, they'll live for many, these, the here's, these stems right here go back quite a few years, just this long draping one in front of us. And here's an example of a young propagation. This is just about a year old. One day long ago, this plant right here was just like that. And so with a little bit of patience, quite a bit of patience actually, um, a specimen like this is quite easy to create. Well, thank you for watching today. There's a little bit of information on growing the staghorn club moss. Quite an easy plant to grow and quite spectacular for those that like foliage plants that have a lot of grace to them. If you'd like more information, visit us at logis.com.